Hi everyone, it's Tracy. Uh, I'm doing a response to Tom Benjamin's tag, Reverse Terror Troll, and I have, I debated for quite a long time on whether or not I was going to actually do this video. I've watched a lot of other people's videos and I was, it was very good and entertaining, but there was something I wanted to say and so I have my notes about what I'm going to say. So you will see me looking down because I don't want to miss anything. I spent probably an hour writing up what I, what exactly it was that I wanted to say in response to the reverse terror troll tag. Um, so let me get started. Uh, I'll start by saying I am subscribed to 126 channels on YouTube. Only eight of my the channels I'm subscribed to on YouTube are not tarot related. So I'm going to tell you about those first. My eight channels that are not tarot related. Uh, and these appear to be in alphabetical order because I was going down my list. I'm subscribed to the Doctor Who official BBC YouTube channel. I am subscribed to Hamilton, an American musical. Uh, that's the... Uh, if you haven't heard of Hamilton, it's a fantastic uh, musical about the life of Alexander Hamilton. Um, so you can get some interesting content there. I am subscribed to Straight No Chaser, which is an a cappella group. I am subscribed to Tech Gumbo, which isn't the best channel that I'm subscribed to. I might want to drop that subscription, but they do put helpful videos out there from time to time about working with internet browsers and sort of techy techy stuff. Uh, Ted Ed. Now Ted Ed is one of my favorite channels that I've subscribed to. Ted Ed is a division of TED Talks and they do little short like four to six minute videos that teach you about a very specific topic that are just fascinating. They recently did one on Cupid and Psyche and there's one out there now that I haven't watched yet about when is water safe to drink. So it's all kinds of just topics from everything and they're just little short things sometimes they even talk about physics which kind of goes over my head but love Ted Ed uh, the dinner party show this is the YouTube channel of a very old friend of mine who's a novelist he hasn't put any content out there in quite a while but I am still subscribed to his channel because he's an old friend of mine uh, too old to grow up now this is a really really fun channel it's a couple of British guys who are in their 40s, they're in their 40s, and they basically didn't grow up. It's a very family-friendly show. Yeah, they put out content two or three times a week where they go and find old 80s collectibles, they go play video games, they tell jokes, they talk about what's going on in pop culture. They're just a lot of fun. So I, I definitely, if you want just a little fun diversion every now and then, too old to grow up, their show is called Tea and Toast. That you never see them drinking tea or making toast, but anyway. And the last non-tarot channel that I'm subscribed to is Winthrop University, which is my alma mater. It's where I went to college. So <laughs> that is it for my non-tarot YouTube channels. That leaves 118 tarot channels, tarot-related channels. You know, they, the content might not be 100% tarot, but there's a, a big slant on tarot. And I'm not subscribed to everyone who's out there. Uh, I subscribe to probably two or three new channels every two or three weeks as I discover them. Uh, I'm on the Facebook group for the love of cards. When one of those members decides to make YouTube videos, I go subscribe to their channel, that sort of thing. So I'm adding to my subscription list all the time. And I have to say, I don't watch every video from everybody I'm subscribed to. I, I can't. I'd love to, but I just, I don't have the time. Now, if somebody wants to pay me to watch YouTube videos for a living, I'll do that. But otherwise, I have to go to my job. Even though sometimes, shh, I watch videos while I'm on at work. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> I don't really watch them. I sort of listen to them. Uh, by the same token, I don't comment much on all of your videos. You'll notice I'm not one of your regular commenters. And there are a few reasons for this. Um, I play a lot of the videos on my television while I um, am at home. And you can't comment from your TV. I'd have to go find my phone or my iPad and, and pull it out. And sometimes I do, but it's, it's not really just easy to, to leave a comment when you're watching it on the TV. And I hate to admit it, but I am frequently multitasking. 
I've got y'all on when I'm getting ready for work in the morning. That's a ritual for me. As I'm getting ready to go to work every morning, I have YouTube playing and I'm listening to your videos. I will have you on while I'm fixing dinner. I'm have you on while I am doing laundry. So I, I just, um, that's, that's kind of why you don't see me comment too much. And just because I don't comment doesn't mean that I don't love your videos and find that your content is valuable. There are lots of people watching your videos and not commenting. Just have a look at the little number of people who've watched it versus the number of uh, comments that you get. And you, you know that there are a lot of people watching it, your stuff that who aren't commenting. Talking personally, me, Tracy. I'm not speaking for anyone else here. This is just me. I don't make YouTube videos for other people. I make them for me. Yeah, you look a little puzzled there. Let me see if I can explain. I'm kind of a recluse, almost a hermit, um, an introvert in the extreme. And a lot of that has to do with my size. I'm a big girl. And people, the impression that I have gotten from being around groups of people is that people generally don't want to be around me. I don't know if they think that being fat is contagious or what the problem is, or maybe it's all just in my head, but I get the impression that people don't want to be around me. And anyway, it's gotten to the point with my, it had, it had gotten to the point, let me put it that this way. This is about my journey. So it had gotten to the point where it was actually kind of unhealthy, the amount of time I was spending by myself. I was nervous and uncomfortable in almost every social situation that there was and not to go into the minute details but I basically felt like there was nobody in society who wanted to really wanted to bother with me I picked the tarot cards up again about after a 10-year hiatus to help me deal with some of my social anxiety and my self-esteem issues and I loved the tarot cards and I wanted to learn more about them. And eventually that led me to YouTube, the Facebook tarot community and the Instagram tarot community. And I could have played it safe and just confined myself to Facebook and Instagram where it's a little easier to hide than it is on YouTube. But I found so many wonderful people on YouTube, in addition to the wonderful people that I found on Facebook and on Instagram. Don't get me wrong, there are all kinds of wonderful people on all of these platforms. Uh, but the people on YouTube were just so raw and real that I figured I would put myself out there and I would give it a try. I kind of had it in my mind that when I started, I was just going to put myself out there and really expect absolutely nothing in return. I would create videos to teach myself and to stretch myself out of my comfort zone. If someone else got something out of my videos, well, that was just that was just gravy. That was extra wonderfulness. I don't generally go and look to see how many times one of my videos has been viewed or how many thumbs up or thumbs down it's gotten. I'm not trying to get validation from the people who watch my YouTube videos. And Lord knows, I can tear myself down better than anybody who comments on one of my YouTube videos could ever tear me down. I never really expected anybody to watch any of my videos and it still surprises me when people leave comments. I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. When I first started making YouTube videos, I wasn't really good about answering all the comments because I didn't really understand the whole process of why people were leaving comments. It just kind of freaked me out a little bit but now I will respond to any comment that I see I will respond to all of them I have had a few comments get lost in la la land somehow and but if I see it I'm gonna respond to it I do occasionally get trolls and spam more spam than trolls and I just delete them and block them again I can hurt myself way worse than mr. troll can hurt me so bye bye not dealing with that all that to say that I am NOT going to specifically name any wonderful YouTube channels because I think they're all wonderful 
What I want to say is that I appreciate and respect and love every single person who makes a YouTube video that puts a little bit of themselves into that video and puts it out there for other people to see. I'm not going to name any names because I really don't want anybody to feel left out. I may cut this out, I may not, let's see. And I don't mean this in any sort of negative way, but in any community of people where people come together, even as like-minded as we are in the tarot community, groups of cool kids are going to develop. And as someone who was always left out of the cool kids group, I don't want to leave out anybody. You may think that this is a cop-out, that I'm just taking the easy way out. Oh, I love everybody, I love everybody. Well, I do. I do love and appreciate everybody whose videos I watch. Uh, you can feel free to disagree with me in the comments below, and I will definitely respond to you. But this is, this is my truth about how I feel about the YouTube tarot community. So I love you all, and I appreciate you all. And if you stuck with me this long, I'm going to pull a card to just give us a lovely general message. And I'm using the Mons Tarot because this is kind of like a hug in a box. I love this tarot. It's, it's, um, it tells the truth, but it does it in a way that's just loving and sweet and pretty. So what message do the cards have for us today? The Knight of Wands. Be bold, people. Speak your truth. Go for what you love. And I really do appreciate and love you all, and thank you, and have a great day.